So here we have it. Marvel's last round before their victory lap. And oh boy, the last round it is. I'm going to be honest, if it wasn't for The Incredible Hulk as a movie, this here would be my favorite Phase 1 movie. It, The Incredible Hulk just barely squeaks out above it. That's how good this movie is. I'm getting ahead of myself, but Captain America 2 is my favorite Phase 2 movie. And while the third, well, we're certainly in Phase 3, so I don't know if Captain America 3 would be my favorite of all, of all those movies. It's really good. Like, all these movies are really, really good, and I don't know why they're that good. But let's move on to the plot, shall we? During World War II, a young Steve Rogers was rejected from the military due to having poor health and poor stamina and all that stuff. He's essentially a gigantic wimp. He wants to enlist again, but this time is recruited by Abraham Erskine. Erskine. Again, pronunciations are not my strong suit, people. To join the American Super Soldier Program. During the experiment, Erskine is killed by a spy and Steve is turned to Captain America. And then is sent to go perform USO shows to the troops, which all the troops hate. At the same time, John Schmidt, that's not a Schmidt, that's like two Schmidts in a row. If I get one more Schmidt, I get a reward, right? He plans to use an ancient artifact known as the, Terraset, known as the Tesseract to power his armies. And after Bucky, Steve's best friend, is taken while on assignment, Steve has to suit up and become the true soldier he's always wanted to be for the greater good and help protect his country. I freaking love this movie. First off, again, I love this movie. I love the setting, I love the continuity. I love the nods of continuity, like Howard Stark and whatnot. And I love the origin for the Captain America suit being the fact that he was essentially meant to play a character for USO shows, and he just said, you know what, they already gave me this costume, I might as well stick with it. I love that. I, I can't not love that. It's too perfect of an origin for this blue onesie Captain America runs around in. Again, it's perfect. <laughs> and, and the freaking shield, it also explains the freaking shield. I love this. Oh. In fact, my only complaint is also a bit of a continuity issue with the comics, and that's the Tesseract. In the comics, it's known as the Cosmic Cube, a device that can rewrite reality according to the limited user. Not just power weapons, distort space, all that stuff. If you wish it, the cube can make it so. The number of things the cube has done. The cube has revived Red Skull more times than I can count. The cube has also, in current continuity, regained sentience and rewritten Captain America's entire continuity to make him an agent of Hydra. We'll get to that. We'll talk about that when we talk about that. Hopefully never. And it's also like the current big event. The cube has also broken time and space a number of times as comparable and strength to the cosmic cube. As, I mean, as comparable to strength as the Infinity Gauntlet itself. And... Did I mention it also brought Bucky back in the animated series? Again, the cube can warp space and time according to the limit of its user. So having it here just be an Infinity Stone, specifically the Space Stone, is kind of a letdown. I get it. They need to change the stones to make it fit better in a story flow for the meta narrative and all that. But I still have, I still have this bugging urge to just say it's called the Cosmic Cube, and everyone says Tesseract. Uh, I'm just used to this small blue cube being caught in the human behind a Infinity Stone, and Red Skull waving around like he's got, like he's God King Emperor of Earth, which at one point it literally made him God King Emperor of Earth before Captain America kicked his ass, of course. Aside from all that, the actors did their jobs perfectly. I'm going to say this. It's good to see Chris Hemsworth get put in a good movie. Outside of being stuck as, you know, the Human Torch in two, crap in two crappy Fantastic Four comics. It's good to see that he's in a good movie as Captain America. It's also good that we can also add another notch on our 50 Shades of Kevin Bacon joke playlist. The Human Torch fell on a nice flow. Was revived, somehow fell back in time, lost his powers, became a wimp, got super, got super soul serum, got stuck in ice again, became Captain America. <laughs> again, it's nothing more than a fun joke amongst comic book nerds. Uh, overall, this is a great movie. I unabashedly love everything about this thing aside from the one Tesseract. And we just got one more to go. The victory lap is here! Avengers, the victory lap for Marvel as they show to the world what they can do and change the and change the basis of the film industry practically forever if the current trend keeps up. 
Will they stick the landing or will they miss and then play on their faces? You know they all stuck the landing, right? Well, well, we'll talk about that victory lap when we get to it next time.